On May 8th at Ryder University, the Capital Region Minority Chamber of Commerce will host its fifth annual Diversity Summit. We're excited to have with us as our keynote speaker, Hester Akadosi, New Jersey's first Chief Diversity Officer, who will provide information about public policy and how it's shaping opportunities for businesses, minority-owned businesses in our state. She will introduce to us things that are happening, um, new public policies that are giving opportunities for tax incentives, providing different industries with new insight and information around how they can grow their business, expand their businesses, and take advantage of opportunities that they may not be aware of. This also includes a conversation around other public policy issues that are shaping businesses and providing opportunity for businesses. For example, the legalization of marijuana, tax um, implications, minimum wage, all of those things impact the way that you run and, and operate your businesses. We have a lot of HR professionals that are needing to understand exactly what employers need to know um, when policy changes and what things they need to be aware of, the challenges that exist and the things that they have to overcome. We're also going to provide information from various legal services, uh, financial services, we're looking at energy and other things and other industries that are influencing the way that you operate your businesses. And it may even create opportunities opportunities from agriculture to bakeries. Uh, we really want people to think about how creative you can be, how innovative you can be when public policy changes and shifts the way you need to do business. We encourage you to register online and make sure you're in the room. You have an opportunity to network with some other business leaders from the Central Jersey area. And you also have an opportunity to exchange ideas and learn more about what needs to happen within your small businesses to grow, to sustain your business, and also to push your thinking around what these issues really mean and the implications in communities of color, in minority-owned businesses, and out throughout the state.